Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We're gonna talk about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. We're gonna talk about their Spotify deal going bust and apparently one of the Spotify executives called them effing grifters. Yes, I saw this yesterday, but we didn't get a chance to do it. That is crazy. Now, I knew that the deal got canceled. We, we knew yesterday, but I did not know that one of the Spotify executives was like, don't let the door hitch on the way out. We're going to talk about this. Maybe they can make more money on their uh, Leave Us Alone tour. Oh, know, yes. Yeah. They can just keep on. Maybe, maybe they can make some extra cash by actually voicing themselves on South Park. There you go. Oh, we don't want to be harassed. Leave us alone. Um, but where, where's all our million dollar, you know, podcasting deals and everything else? Yeah. So so this went bust. And right now, I, I got to tell you, as, as somebody who works in media, somebody who works around stuff, podcasting is hot right now. So if you're if you're. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, and you're losing a podcast deal, you done fucked up. Yeah. I mean, that's all I'm that's all I'm gonna say. Like they're throwing money at people to podcast right now. This is after Netflix canceled her her cartoon show. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh they I guess they still have an option with Netflix, but yeah, they're damaged goods at this point. So we're gonna talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. This is uh, this is nuts. Uh, she's not getting a woohoo over at Spotify. Mm -mm. So this is Bill Simmons who sold The Ringer to Spotify in 2020 and has risen through the tech company. Yeah, exec he's still at Spotify. He's I think he's still one of the executives at Spotify. He yeah. kept his job or whatever. There. Yeah, he's ri risen uh, uh, through the ranks, derided Harry and Meghan Markle on his podcast Friday as fucking grifters. Wow. The Sussexes in Spotify confirmed Thursday they had parted ways after signing a deal reportedly worth $20 million three years ago for their production company, Archwell. Uh, the is it Archie? Is it Archie Well? Archie, Archie Well. well. I, the kid's name is Archie. Archie? I don't know. I don't know. The pact was part of Spotify's surge in spending on podcasting. Yeah, they spent hundreds of millions of dollars to get celebrities to come in and podcast. And that's kind of like what happened with... Uh, Joe Rogan's still there, though. Joe Rogan's still there. <laughs> Joe Rogan's doing fine. Fine. Uh, Simmons still runs The Ringer and is also the head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify. So he's the, the money guy. Hey, Simmons. Call me. Anyway. We'll, we'll do it for... We'll do it Way for less. $19 million. No, no. $19 million and we'll go Spotify exclusive there. Uh, anyway, he made the comments on his podcast. The fucking grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. He said, I, I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. Oh, no. So, Harry, tell us again about how you put your, your mother's lip balm on your ding dong. <laughs> It smelled like your mom and reminded you. It reminded I mean, look, you of I get, mama. I get the lip balm. I get the smell reminding you of your mother. But it's some things you should not share. I mean, I can't say much. I share oh, way too much. God. But, you know. This is crazy. The comments surfaced on Twitter, see below, and were first reported by The Big Lead. Among Archwell's podcast was Archetypes, which is hosted by Markle. The show explored the societal forces that have impeded the progress of women and welcomed guests like Trevor Trevor okay. Noah, Mariah Carey, Mindy Kaling, so, and Serena Williams. Oh, but speaking of which, they're going to Mindy Kaling a, a season. We already mentioned they are confirming the season two of Velma. I'm not doing a whole video on it because no one fucking cares. But Meghan Markle is so full of shit. I don't even have words. This woman is like... So up her own ass. And I can't imagine why no one listened to that podcast. Oh, my God. As a woman, I don't want to listen to that podcast. It sounds boring as hell. This is crazy. Simmons did not hold his tongue about the royal couple, even during the time they were under contract with Spotify. Last January, he blasted Prince Harry, saying it was embarrassing to be affiliated with the same company. Oh. Shoot this guy into the sun, he said, according to the big lead post. I'm so tired of this guy. What does he bring to the table? He just whines about shit and keeps giving interviews. Who gives a shit? Who cares about your life? You weren't even oh, the favorite no. son. You live in a fucking... <laughs> you just sell documentaries and podcasts and nobody cares what you have to say about anything unless you talk about the royal family and you just complain about them. Holy shit. That's epic. Mm -hmm. That is... But it's wow. true, like, like then they keep doing this thing, like, everybody's harassing us. Everybody's harassing us. It's like one of those cartoons where you're like, stop looking at me. And, like, no one's paying attention to them. Like, no it one literally can, is a cartoon. It's like the guy, it's like, the guy like, nobody cares. No one cares. Like, the Jurassic Park meme, nobody cares. That's what they are. And they're like, stop, stop. You know, like, yeah, this is like the South Park episode. And then they're desperately screaming for attention. Uh, pay attention to us. I mean, don't. 
So, of course, the Daily Mail weighs in. Um, they said that they've only got Netflix left, and they've already canceled canceled one of her cartoon. Her, her, you notice how it's all like her ideas? But you know what? Beyond that, yeah. They're beyond all her that. ideas. You know, let's be honest here. The only reason they get any of these deals is because because it's, it's Prince Harry is a royal. Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. Because there's nothing here to indicate, you know, talent enough to do these things. Other than them using their money to hire people to, to do it for them. And then they take the credit. And then, you know, it's just her because she was from acting, and I'll use the term loosely. And now she wants to be, like, in charge of all this stuff and leverage her power. And it's like, you know, but if they didn't have that, no one would give a shit. No one would give them anything. So she basically fucked a prince, married a prince, just to get herself media deals. To become famous that way. I think she's one of the more famous. But I mean, maybe. That, I, mean, I mean, do I think he loves her? Yeah. I totally do. <laughs> do I think she loves him? I think he loves her. Um, I think she loves money. I, I think she is. I think my personal opinion. I can say I'm an American. I don't have to. I don't have to think kindly of the royal family. Um, I think she's a gold digger. I think she's I mean, I don't, I don't know digger. her personally. But I'm just saying, some of the, the the things that have come out, some of the pictures you've seen, some of the reports you hear, and the fact that they keep trying to cash in on selling dirt on their family and stuff, it just yeah. it seems like yeah. it just seems like a, a cry for attention. Um, where Prince Harry's had attention, probably too much attention his entire life. Yes. And I can see him wanting to get away from it. Yeah, that. I can see that. I'd be like, let's take our millions and just go buy a little cottage and somewhere. Maybe and- he's an attention-seeking asshole, too. I don't know. But yeah. he never struck me as that way. Um, but I don't know. I, again, I don't know them personally. So this is the, this is the way it comes across to people. Yes. This Douche is how bag. it's coming across. Douchebags. Um, That's how it comes across to people. I, I agree with I, this but, guy. And, and truthness, and, and the truth of the matter, <laughs> they only get the deals they get because of who they are. Yes. If, if he wasn't Prince Harry, they wouldn't be getting the deals. I'm not even going to say if she wasn't Meghan Markle because no one gives a fuck about Meghan Markle. If he wasn't Prince Harry and they weren't tied to the royal family, they would not get the deals they're getting. She is the Yoko Ono of the royal. Pretty family. much, pretty much. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. She is the Yoko. Uh, so yeah, so they they quit. They wanted their privacy. They moved to California. They bought a 14 million dollar nine bedroom mansion, and uh, they wanted to build a million or uh, I'm sorry, not a million, a billion dollar media empire. And now now uh, they're speculating that the Spotify deal's over, and they might have to to cut back on their their lavish lifestyle. Why don't you just go get a get a job at like Target or something? Well, I don't think she's get a job at Target, but I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, you keep burning bridges. You want to be left alone. Look at one of the few pictures where she's looking at him, not the other way around. Because almost every picture you ever see, it's like he's always behind her. He's always looking at her. Yeah, you know, it's she's, one of the few pictures where she's looking at him. No, she's probably looking at him, thinking you need to get hair plugs so you're more photogenic, so we can make more money. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's what, what she's she, thinking. I don't know. <laughs> How much is this guy worth? I yeah. So I mean, look, I don't obviously don't think very much of her. Uh, a lot of people don't think very much of her. Them, they, them, whatever. I think the whole thing is just freaking ridiculous. But they're they're saying it's yeah. It's really pretty bad when that's the comments. The person who would make money off them being there. Yes. And it's, it's his job to monetize Spotify. It's embarrassing that they're even here. Yes. Right. That's not good because, like I said again, this person's job is to innovate and monetize the platform. It would, it would not be a good look for him to say this unless he had really good grounds to say this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. This is funny. Um, so this, they're talking about their podcast, right? This is funny. They said one critic likened the listening experience to being locked in the relaxation room of a wellness spa with an unusually self-involved yoga instructor. Well, yeah. She had herself a job doing narrations for Disney and then that fell through. Like She did like one thing and then everybody said she her voiceovers were terrible and they got rid of her. God. So... Why is it? I mean, it's the same with uh, uh, Jada Smith, right? Jada mm-hmm. Pinkett Smith. Same thing. It's like they, they're like, let's do a podcast about us and our celebrity friends because that's like the only thing they know. You know, you listen to this stuff and it's like, yeah, we're just going to talk about things that normal people will never be able to relate to. So how's your mansion? How? Right. No, well, not just that. They're like, but they're going to talk about the history of, of oppression and women. As they live in this fucking right. house. They live in this fucking house and you're going to talk about and their And all, all their guests they brought on were celebrities. Yes. And get, I'm like, yeah. Get the actual oppressed woman who's cleaning bathrooms at Target. Or at their house. 
at their house. Except there's more bathrooms of royal fam- working royal family members. Interview your damn maid and say, hey, how's everything going? Are you good? You might not like the answer you get. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, out of fucking touch. And I think that's why people are so, again, because it's like, again, if they had just moved someplace and you know bought a, a reasonably priced house and just lived a quiet life, like they said they were going to, we just want to get away from it all. But no, you went to LA to build a media empire and you suck at it. And Spotify it actually takes skill. You can't just use oh look, he's a royal as a reason. Spotify would rather keep Joe Rogan, who has been incredibly controversial, and said, calls you fucking grifters. And they're calling you fucking grifters publicly. That's bad. That's epic. But that's that's that is the utter state of it. So you guys lost your deal. I don't think Netflix is going to do much of anything. Netflix is hurt for cash now, and they're not going to spend it on you, sweetheart. People, they're just not. And quite frankly, the majority of people just the opinion, right or wrong, because like we none of us know them personally. But right or wrong, most people's opinion of this group is not high. No. <laughs> so they, they do not no. like them for whatever reason, and especially Meghan Markle. There they you go. Her, they find her like sand. That is grading. Awful. Gritty and it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. It gets in your JJ. I'm not talking Meghan Markle about the JJ. <laughs> well, you said Meghan every- Markle's gritty is like well, a no, like that- fan. And then you said Meghan Markle about no, the JJ. No, they'll be, they'll be hairy. I remember the time my mummy got sand in her JJ, And when I smelled this perfume, it reminded me of that. No. <laughs> Why did you have to take it there for real? He took it there. I didn't know you took it there. Oh, no, he did with the lip balm. But what yes! I said about her being annoying like sand and it gets everywhere. You know, like, you know well, what? when you're talking. We don't talk about Meghan Markle anywhere near my JJ. People aren't talking about sand getting on your knees when they're talking about being irritated and getting everywhere. You know what Anakin was talking about. Most of what I don't they can't beach. talk about That's why I don't go to beaches. I don't like sand George? in my um, swimsuit. George Lucas never talked about the JJs in Star Wars. Now, Disney, they would totally talk about space I'm JJ. I'm not understanding how we got there, but I'm, I'm very lost right now. Can we please wrap this up? Yes, we're going to wrap this up. See, look, Spotify, you can have this for $19 million. $19 so million. If, I go want, if I go want women in my JJ, you can't say anything at this point. Because you're the one that put it there. I didn't put women in your... Yeah, you did. Anyway, let's wrap it up. I'm running this conversation back through my head. I don't remember. Okay, anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. This was uh, kind of an extra episode. Didn't plan to do it, obviously. Please subscribe for more quality content like this. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.